Hello citizens of internet. I am Professor Ajit Virkod from Mumbai, India. In this animation, I am going to demonstrate how to determine station of fetal head by per vaginal examination. It is a clinical skill that one must master in order to be able to perform many obstetrics procedures such as artificial rupture of membranes, application of obstetrics forceps or vacuum extraction, and plotting of a platograph. Fetal station describes the relationship between the leading bony point of the vertex and a line between the maternal ischial spines, both in the midline. In modern obstetrics, it is measured in centimeters from minus 5 centimeters to plus 5 centimeters. Following a deep per vaginal examination, the index finger is placed on the interior tip of the maternal ischial spines. The midpoint between each spine is estimated. The index finger then moves towards the midline and a reference mark is placed on the hand at the introitus. This reference mark defines zero station. The index finger then moves along the fetal skull in the midline which may be up or down to find the lowest bony point. A second mark is placed on the index finger at the introitus and in doing so one can compare the two marks to objectively measure the actual fetal station. In this case the second mark is 2 centimeters above the zero station indicating plus 2 station. Results from the abdominal and vaginal examination should correlate. If a zero station or lower station is measured but the fetal head is more than one fifth palpable above the pelvic brim, caput or molding may be falsely indicating a lower station. If you want to know more about this topic or any other topic in obstetrics and gynecology, please refer to my books Modern Gynecology, Modern Obstetrics, and Practical Obstetrics and Gynecology, and other books. For purchase inquiries, Contact me on this WhatsApp number. I have also published two question answer books which are particularly useful for exam going students. These are Clinical Cases in Obstetrics, 1000 plus questions and answers and Clinical Cases in Gynecology, 1000 plus questions and answers. You can also follow me on other social media platforms like Facebook or Meta, Blogspot and Instagram. The links are given here. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.